ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel and welcome back to x defiant the beta is now over it looks like this is going to be the last beta test for x defiant as the developers are taking all the data and all the feedback they gathered from this weekend to make some final changes to the game before they officially announce a release date this weekend i streamed the game a ton i played the game a ton i think i hit like level 30 or something i used a ton of different weapons and this video here is going to be my final review of x defiant before the full launch of the game whenever that may be as of right now we still do not have a release date i want to cover everything from guns to maps to factions and game modes but after my last video i'm sure many of you want to hear about the netcode and hit detection so let's just jump right into that first the netcode for x defiant has been a constant problem for the game ever since it was first revealed bullets not hitting hit markers appearing but doing no damage dying around corners all of this stuff makes the game feel really bad whenever that happens when i made my last video showing instances of this happening i made a pretty bold statement and i still stand by that and the statement is it does not matter how pretty the maps are how good the guns are how fun the operators are if the core foundation of the game does not work if your bullets aren't registering and you're dying because of server desync then everything else falls apart the core foundation of the game has to work where your bullets go where they're supposed to and enemy bullets go where they're supposed to that's it full stop that has to work before everything else can fall into place. In the last two days since I made that video, I've been keeping an eagle eye on my character to monitor whenever any of this stuff happens, right? And I'm happy to report that over the course of the weekend, the servers did stabilize a bit and things started to feel better. But that being said, however, nonsense was still happening and you guys know I got the receipts and we're going to check out some examples here. So first up, we have this clip on Arena. I'm shooting at the Libertards while they have their alt up, which is a really dumb idea. Maybe I'm the Libertard by doing that. So I decided to duck to my left to get behind cover and lo and behold i still die what happened there man i'm no engineer but this is what i call server desync like on my screen i'm reacting quickly enough to duck behind cover but on their screen i'm still standing out in the open shooting while they're basically invincible in a fast-paced arcade shooter like x defiant this stuff cannot be happening if i as the player am able to react quickly enough to get behind cover i shouldn't be dying because the servers can't keep up with me here's another example on echelon i notice a lot of these instances seem to happen on this map because it's so small and has so much cover but here I get behind cover and I'm still taking damage. The hit notifiers almost make it look like I'm being shot through the machines, but then you see the tracer bullets are still going to where I was previously standing, not where I'm currently standing. Is it possible this is a situation where character models and hitboxes are actually larger than they appear? Because I'm almost positive you can't shoot through that metal area on B, but I can't be 100% sure. And then looking at the tracer bullets again, it looks like he's shooting at where I was standing, not where I'm currently standing, and I end up dying at as a result now speaking of character models here's a super weird clip so we're gonna watch this in real time there's a guy standing on c who's either afk or his controller died or whatever i try shooting at what little part of his body i can see and in real time it looks like i just missed a whole bunch of shots right but if we slow things down here i do still miss a whole bunch of shots but a bunch of those shots also simply just did not hit the guy even though my iron sight was pointed right at him is this because the back part of the character model is not part of the hitbox i really have no idea but regardless, it feels really bad when stuff like that happens. Here's me playing on Showtime. I take shots from behind, so I quickly get around the corner, and I get basically halfway up the stairs, yet I die. That felt really bad, because the guy that killed me was a libertard. It wasn't like they were one of the cleaners, and I died to fire damage over time after I got around the corner and up the stairs. No, this is just server desync on the game's end. On my screen, I'm halfway up the stairs. On their screen, I was never even around the corner, apparently. That just that disconnect there just feels so damn bad. And since I don't want to spend all day here just showing clips or dig through the 12 hours of footage I have for every single instance of this stuff happening, I'll wrap this up with this one right here. Now, apparently, this is a known bug that the developers are working on but i put five count them five hit markers into this cleaner guy with my acr and i still die and apparently he still has like 37 health to spare again this is a known ui bug bar the hit markers also bugged because how is it possible for me to hit him five times with an acr when he has 100 base health he's not being healed or anything and he still gets to live to tell the tale that doesn't make any sense and i'm sure you guys have experienced a lot of stuff like this while you're playing 
X Defiant this past weekend. Issues like this are by far my biggest problem with X Defiant. Like I mentioned earlier, the servers have gotten better over the course of the weekend, and these really annoying instances started to become fewer and further between. I did have an X Defiant developer reach out to me to let me know that they are actively making changes to improve ping, and they apparently have a lot of new netcode that they're introducing that needs to be optimized. So that's a really good thing, right? And not only was I taking all this stuff for my videos, but that developer also asked me to record any instances I get where I'm dying around cores and things like that so I can share that with them so they can go on their end and look at my games and try to figure out exactly what happened so they can try to address that and fix that. That is the sign of a great developer right now. When they're reaching out to little near cinema here trying to figure out why I'm dying around corners, that means they really give a shit about this game. That means they want this game to be as good as possible. They're doing everything that they possibly can. That being said, however, it is still really bad optics for the game to be delayed as much as it has been and then for day one of the server test to be as frustrating as it was. I understand that's the entire point of a server test session, but you guys get where I'm coming from here, right? When the netcode almost feels the same as it did last year and the game got delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed, that just really soured the entire opinion of lots of dedicated X Defiant fans, myself included. If X Defiant is going to launch anytime soon, I truly hope that they continue to smooth out the servers and make everything as tight and fluid as possible, because I'll be honest with you guys, that's really the only issue I have with the game. I'm not even joking when I say I love the X Defiant experience and I'm sad that the beta is gone. The weapons feel incredible and a lot of them feel very unique as well. The maps are beautiful, the factions and the operators add a bit of spice to every game mode, and the lack of skill-based matchmaking has honestly reinvigorated my love for online first-person shooters. I kid you guys not when I say at times I felt like I was a kid again playing this game because the experiences I got out of X Defiant were kind of like the experiences I got from COD back before skill-based matchmaking took over and ruined everything. I'm not being hyperbolic when I say that in my over 12 hours of playing this past weekend, there wasn't more than two, maybe three matches where I was not in first or second place of the entire lobby. Every single match felt awesome because of that. Like once I got used to the controls of the game and I adjusted to the lower amount of aim assist, I was able just to jump in and have fun with whatever gun I wanted to use, with whatever faction and whatever ability I wanted to use, and that is how COD used to feel like for me. This is that kind of fun, fast-paced, and yet relaxing gameplay that I used to crave. Like nowadays, when I play Call of Duty, I am mentally exhausted after about an hour of dealing with the algorithm gods, doing everything they possibly can to make me want to turn off the game. When I jump on X Defiant, it's like it was back in the day where you jump on, you maybe get a couple of friends or not, you can play with friends, play solo, does not matter, there's no skill-based matchmaking, you jump in, and most of the time, it's just a chill, fun experience, the same way the COD used to be back in the day, and for that, I absolutely love the game. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things that will need to be addressed in the full launch, such as rebalancing certain factions or abilities, maybe changing around the weapons like buffing shotguns, or maybe adding flinch to snipers, or nerfing this rifle, or buffing that submachine gun or whatever, but overall, the core game itself felt really good when the servers were stable. I know that for myself and a lot of others, going from a game like COD to X Defiant was a bit jarring because the controls are not a one-to-one -one remake. You know, X Defiant runs on a completely different engine, so things like movement, aiming, recoil, and everything else, they feel different than COD, and aim assist is intentionally weaker. At first, all this can be really off-putting, but I promise, if you just set up your controller settings and stick to them, don't be adjusting your sensitivity or your dead zones after every single match, you will eventually get into that flow state of the game where everything just feels normal and you build that muscle memory and everything just starts to feel really good. Once I stopped adjusting everything all the time and just stuck with my settings, I eventually got into the swing of things and that was when the real fun started to begin. Running around with the AK-47, taking people out across the map or rushing in with a P90 or an MP5 and pulling out your Rafika pistol, maybe busting out the Mosin Nagant snipe rifle, like everything about the game was fun on those beautiful maps that are lighthearted with objectives and at the very end of the game you get to see everybody's score and they give you these little accolades to let you know that you had the most time on the objective or you got the most captures or you got the biggest kill streak or if you're on a win streak like we went on like a 12 win streak or something like that and at the end of every single game me and my buddy Tay it would just announce to our entire team like hey these guys are on a 12 win streak you're welcome you know stuff like that is really cool to me so I do have high hopes for X Defiant going forward but I do understand that those hopes may 
be foolishly placed, given how the netcode was for the first day of the server test and how many times the game has been delayed. That being said, however, I think that just goes to show how much I believe in this game as a concept. It's fast paced, it's lighthearted, it's bright, it's colorful, it's goofy, and it's fun. It's basically everything that Call of Duty isn't anymore. And I think that's why so many COD fans are excited for this game and they really want it to succeed. The problem being, however, again, the game's been delayed so many times, it's been so long that initially that hype is kind of gone. And I'm wondering how many people are still going to give the game a chance when it releases, if it releases. Once the game does come out, however, I'm looking forward to seeing what the progression is going to be like, prestige mode, challenges, and hopefully there's going to be a robust combat record. Like, I'm interested in seeing all of it. Unfortunately, however, with how many times this game's been delayed and with random issues always popping up, like the ones this past weekend that caused the entire faction to be disabled, I have a feeling we are still a ways away from this game releasing, and that scares me because so many people got tired of waiting for this and they just lost interest. But for me, however, I'm still interested and I'm going to continue to cover this game as news comes out, so stay tuned for that and hopefully we get a release date announcement sooner rather than later. But ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. There's my final review, my final discussion of X Defiant, unless something changes and we get another server play test next week for some reason. But for right now, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Leave your thoughts and feedback and your experiences with X Defiant down there in the comments, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.